I like your tattoos. What are those numbers on your arm? Oh, that's uh, the date my dad died. He was a fireman, died in a fire. It was a way for me to close a chapter in my life that has been uh, kind of haunting and just following me uh, like a shadow for quite some time. I would even say it's just been recently that he's finding his way and being okay. It reminded me of memories of my son and the other guys that I knew also. The first guy you date in 17 years is a fireman just like that? You don't think that's weird? You know, this year is is uh, very special and, and, and particular. Uh, and, you know, it, it you know can't, can't really happen in, in 2020 right now, so. I think he's very fortunate that Amy is his mother because she's behind him all the way. God, it takes a lot of energy to keep up with him. And he's been true to mill. Now, getting back to what you, about the holiday for the first time, it's going to be a low attendance, if I can use such a term. So it's going to be different. But it's not going to take away from the joy of seeing each other, talking to each other. That will never lose because we have a very, very big family. It's just unfortunate right now in this day and age, it's got to be done this way. When you see someone like Pete, you know there's a lot going on, but you really don't know what it is. Our uh, frontline workers and first responders have always been heroes, and this year uh, they've uh, they've been superheroes. I'm really thrilled that uh, Amazon's uh, donating uh, you know a million dollars worth of devices to organizations that support those frontline workers and first responders, and one of them is uh, Answer the Call. Uh, Answer the Call is a great organization that means a lot to, to my family because uh, they helped us out, you know, when, uh, and many other families when, you know, 9-11 happened.